Keir now gives it to the big men and launch, but he is there. And it's Cruz who gets over for the try. George Cruz has scored for England. First time I met him was down at the club, actually. He was playing for the under 15s at the time, and his dad came up to me and said, like, oh, You've got to come and help coach my team. So I turned up to coach him, and there was um, a lot of lanky and temperamental 15 year olds running around, and uh, he was one of those ones who always sort of grinning and laughing and being mischievous. George and I met down at Dorking Rugby Club when we were uh, about four and a half, five years old. We had to play under fives twice because we were so young. I think the first week we came down, I was pretty small and he was bigger than I was. And uh, he, he backed me up to, uh, to some guys down here. And uh, from then we've just been best mates ever since. He was always a tenacious little boy. He was uh, never the biggest boy in, in, in the teams he played in. I think it wasn't until he got into his late teens that he, he really grew anywhere near the size he is at the moment. He used to play for the B team until we were about 15, 16 and uh, get picked behind a guy called Jake Dobson. Even at that stage, you know, the his standards was quite high, even though the ability wasn't always there to start off with, but he listened very well and he also adapted really well within games. We just started introducing line-outs as under 16, under 17, and obviously George was quite light at the time, and as a coach, you pick your lightest guy to be chucked up by the big boys, you know, so he absolutely loved that and he, he couldn't get enough. Hey, You know, he's not one who's, who's gone away from us, he's always back down here. His brothers still play down here as well, so he's always down watching them and having a beer and has always got time for everyone to, to talk to them. Personally, I, I, my game has evolved quite a lot around him. It makes you realise that you can put that work in and be where he is. It, it makes me feel quite proud um, to, to, be, to be a part of his journey and, and to have seen him grown. Uh, from, from that level when I first sort of got hold of him as a coach and then become a friend and then a teammate and then a supporter of George. It's, uh, it's quite a proud moment, but I don't think many people can experience that. Yeah, I get a little bit choked up every time I see him go out of there. You know, I've known him for my whole life and he really is a top guy and he's worked so hard for it. So he, he deserves every second of it, for sure. He was a boy who'd made it from six all the way through to the first team, which is what our philosophy here is at Dorking. You know, we're an amateur club and be able to say to the kids who start at six, look, you can start with us and make it all the way. That's gold dust for us.